Just keep bringing out more, huh? That's right. <laughs> the more that comes out, the more that goes out. Well, it's a Friday and I do what I typically do on Fridays and that's drop my daughter off at gymnastics and then maybe grab a bite to eat and see if I can find a Friday garage sale that's worth going to. A lot of times around here there's only three or four and I decided just to pick one. It was a nine o'clock start so I got there late which is not something I ever do on Saturdays but occasionally I'll do it on a Friday. This one was interesting to say the least. What appealed to me is in the ad that I saw it said everything must go. We got to get rid of everything. Multiple days pulling out more stuff. I'm like hmm I'll go check this one out and it wasn't unsurprising when I got there that it was just dirty. Everything was a mess. It looked like it was really in rough condition. I wasn't going to leave though because I spotted a few things I thought were worth money off the bat and I decided to dig a little bit. Needless to say I took a shower as soon as I got home but I think we did pretty good. Couldn't comp anything out while I was there because the phone wasn't working really well. Not a very good connection. So I decided just to take a gamble on a lot of this stuff and I think I did pretty good. Hang around to the end of the video and I'll let you get a closer look at what we got, give you some comps and an idea of what I think they're going to sell for. See you at the end. Good morning. Wow, you got a bunch. My grandfather used to race these things. That's actually sold. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's coming by with the truck to pick it up. Pretty cool. I like it. What do you got on your hubcaps here? Dollar each. Dollar each, okay. That's a big ornament. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to grab a couple of these. Look at that thing. For a dollar each. Those are clean. That one needs clean. Hmm. Have any old hats by any chance? No? Oh, you got more in there, huh? Oh, we got two and a half tents here. Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. There's some VHS. You don't have any horror movies, do you? I'm not sure. Oh, that's too bad. The original radio drama. Missing a couple of tapes. It's amazing that that thing is even not broken or chipped or anything. <laughs> I might just grab it because it's a survivor. <laughs> I'm gonna make a little pile over here if that's okay.
Oh, no, I think they're in pretty good shape, actually. Hmm. Might be worth taking a gamble on. CCD V3. So you have any idea? I imagine you don't, but everything is here. Last time this worked, or if it's working, or you got no idea. <laughs> sure. Ah, I gotcha. Okay. Well, this looks like it's in okay shape, so I might give it a shot. What? What do you? I mean, what do you ask? What are you asking on it? How much? Mm. Yeah, I'd probably give it a shot for five bucks if you want to do that. That's fine. Spray. That okay? Okay. I'll put it in my pile over there and... A little bit of cleaning, but all the parts are here. That's what I like. That is the one on there. What are you asking on the ironing board? Okay, I'll grab that. Definitely sell that just real fast. Keep bringing out more, huh? That's right. <laughs> the more that comes out, the more that goes out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, thank you. Like waiting at the Goodwill for a new bin to come out. Craftsman. Got a bunch of them, huh? Actually, they're in pretty good shape. I need to go get a bag out of my car. I'm gonna have too much stuff, I think. Uh oh, getting rain down here. 
get this out of the rain. There's two of these. Those are going to be worth cleaning, I think. Three of those. Four of those. Sweet. Five of those. There's five of them. Y'all got a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> Hopefully they're paying you well. <laughs> yeah, I guess room and board will do the trick. Designer Dreams 3. I just can't leave that behind. I don't care. The box is messed up. Should be good, right? Something, somebody. I guess we'll find out. Pedal car. Fisher Price pedal car. Broken tire. All that. Look at that thing. That's awesome. Hmm. Man, those are rough. I bet they're. In. I bet they're worth something, but. Mongoose. Hmm. All right, you, you want to price it for me? You want to get, how do you want to do it? I've got a couple things I asked prices on, but the rest I just kind of threw in the bag. Holy cow, I didn't even see that bike over there. Hmm. Is this a dollar hubcap? Yeah, he said a dollar hubcap. He said uh, three bucks for this. And then he said five bucks for the camera. In here. So there's just like uh, this and these lenses, this, these magazines, this and this. That's the rest of it, so. Let's see, so let's just total up what he said. So 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 20. And then that stuff that I showed you right there. Uh, about that's what I was going to say. I think that sounds great. Let me uh, give you the money and get out of here before it rains on us. All right. One, two, three, four five bucks so you're gonna keep pulling out the rest of the weekend here yeah okay we'll be doing it for a couple of weeks but <laughs> you'll see me again all right hey very nice Sounds to meet y'all appreciate it all right i hope you enjoyed that out there now we're back in the commonwealth cabin and i just want to show you some of the things a little closer i did okay i did pretty good actually i'm pretty happy there are a couple of uh, strikeouts no amazing home runs but a couple that might surprise you a little bit with their value so let's take a look at that all right, start off with the ones that a lot of you are like, what is he doing? Why would he pick these up? <laughs> I hear you. All right, so Ford Motor Company. Uh, these are, I think, now I'm not a car guy, y'all, so forgive me and you can chime in with what I've got wrong here. I call these dog dishes, but I don't know if these are really considered dog dishes because they're not completely that oval shape. They have this, but I think they are. And these actually have a little value on eBay. I don't know if I'll put them on eBay or put them in the booth, but I don't know. I think together is a pair, 25 bucks maybe plus shipping. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what they're... I've sold real dog, real dog dishes, the ones that are just... that don't have this ring here for around that before. Here's the big winner. And this one's not in great shape. And there's a fifth one that's in really bad shape. But I think I can still sell this set of four. Uh, these two are in good shape. This one's okay, and this one is poor. Here, I'll show it to you. This is the worst shaped one. I gotta do some cleaning there. I just sprayed them off is all I did. I haven't done any cleaning with that, but this, I just got the dust off and they look really nice. These right here, I think because the backs are in good shape, they should sell as a lot of for $150 to $200 plus shipping is, I guess, is my get Impala, maybe? Chevelle, uh, what else? Malibu? No, is that the early one? Do I have that right? I, like I said, I'm not a car guy. But uh, I have sold these. It's probably been 15 years since I've sold those. And I recognize that right off the bat. 
These are no winners right here at all. These are going to go in the booth, which I initially thought they would anyways. I haven't even looked at, I don't even know what those, just a plain Dodge, but two of those, I think, maybe three. And they'll go in the booth for probably seven, eight bucks a piece. So nothing amazing, but I figured I'd rescue them. This one is a Ford, but I don't know what to. Uh, I don't even want to venture a guess, but I'll need to do a little research on that. I'll probably throw that one in there with this one right here. And just say, hey, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten bucks. This one probably be ten. These would be a little cheaper. That one might be five. This might be eight. So just I'll I'll price them as soon as I'm out of here for sure. Just get this stuff all cleared out of here. I'll be done taking pictures of everything and getting it in the right spot probably within 45 minutes or so. I've already put in a half an hour's worth of work on them already, spraying them off and testing this stuff. This is cool. I knew I was going to pick that up. I've sold that in my booth before. These actually sell on eBay. I don't know if I want to go through the trouble, but maybe even $100 plus shipping on that. I'll try to put comps at the end of this so you can take a look. This one had a tag. You see this right here? It was in an antique booth, $75. My guess is instead of trying to sell that on eBay, I'm going to take it to the antique booth, display stuff on it, put a tag on it for maybe 50 bucks. And see, he paid, what, I paid 3 bucks? 25 bucks for all of this, right? So, I mean, just that right there in my booth is going to pay for that. So we're going to make some pretty good money. Here, I just had to rescue this guy. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Probably put it in the booth for a buck or two or three or four. I don't know. I'll check eBay. But even the mask was in place. I'm like, that thing was in a bag, bouncing around for years, and never broke. So, I figured it needed to be saved. These didn't expire. I picked these up expecting them to be really old, and they don't expire here. That one's 2022. That one's 2023. I think these will sell for 10 15 bucks a piece. Three lenses, all the same. Two in box. One of them looks like it, I mean, it looks pristine, but this one you see out of the box got a little bit, not damaged really, it's just like blurry. So probably 50 bucks, 45 bucks, 40 bucks a piece on these. One of them I may not risk selling, so we'll see. But the other two I will for sure. Here's my loser, and I don't know why I picked this up, to be honest with you. I've sold these before, they're Burger King watches. And I'm like, yeah, I'll pick it up. Because I knew it wasn't going to... It didn't cost any more. It was in the bag, right? I knew that's what was going to happen. So here we go. These... I've sold inside stuff before. And they have these NBA card sheets. I didn't even look to see if they're in there. But I think as a lot... Panini, sometimes these have value. I knew this really wouldn't because it's got some creases and whatnot. But I wanted to look through and see which stickers were in there. No Jordans. Uh, a few good ones. David Robinson. But nothing amazing. By itself, it's probably only worth seven, eight bucks. I want to... This one's probably worth... Ten ten dollars plus shipping. It's in really good shape, actually. If it didn't have the little thing right here, it'd probably be worth uh, fifteen to twenty. I'm gonna put all these in a lot together and just sell them off real quick. Make fifteen bucks, maybe. Hopefully, we'll see. This. Well, let me talk about these first. This one, Designer Dreams three. Look, the box is awful, but this thing's still in the case, never been taken out. And I'm like, that thing's gotta be worth something. Look at that. That thing looks cool. And sure enough, it is. Can't even see what it says. Elwood's Trailer Company. There you go. Probably, if the box was in great shape, it'd be $35 plus shipping. Unfortunately, it's not, so it's probably going to go for 10 to 15 plus shipping, but I'll take it. Same thing here. Probably worth $75 if everything was in great shape. It'll probably still go for 30 plus shipping. Because it, I mean, instructions, everything's intact. Just the box is really damaged. All right, here's the one that probably some of you are like, what is he doing? And here's the deal. Look. I spent five minutes cleaning it up, using the blower over there and just cleaning it up. Put this in the battery compartment. It works. It works. This is how I wanted to make sure, because there was a little bit of damage in mildew and stuff. I'm like, oh, this thing's been rained on or something. But then I, I checked the screws. I always check the screws. No rust, no rust, no rust, no rust. I'm like, man, that might work. But I bought, I mean, for five bucks, right? I knew that I've sold this before. I've sold this machine before. But I never have had all the attachments and everything to go with it. I'm like, if this thing works, I can get 100 bucks, 115 bucks for it. Maybe more. It's got the original cassette, everything. Unfortunately, it, it does work, except for the focus won't work. So I can't sell, I have to sell it as is for parts, which really stinks. But what I'm going to do is just part the whole thing out. I knew I had to save it. I mean, this is the original Sony band right here. I mean, this thing, if I clean it, throw it in the washing machine or something, this thing will sell for what I paid for it. So will this. This sells for 20 plus shipping. 
this this whole apparatus here probably 30 to 40 dollars plus shipping because it's all good and working this is eight bucks this right here is the adapter for your car that's probably 20 bucks so i'll probably just part this thing out and this might fall i might i don't know if this will have any value the actual machine itself once you take this off but it might be worth 15 plus shipping i'll make 450 bucks i think without batting an eye here and most of it will go to the booth so this won't this might not one two listings three four five six I'm, i don't know what i'll do with that probably put it like this i don't know i might list it seven listings eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen listings i'll make 450 bucks pretty certain on that and i'll take the pictures right now all right hope you enjoyed it it's just a friday sale occasionally we'll do it this way kind of enjoy doing that as i progress into full time i'm sure i'll be doing a few more friday sales out there i've enjoyed it so far but i don't try you know i want to spend time with my family i like dropping my daughter off i like not having to uh, have my wife go every day and do that stuff so i don't get out too early on fridays maybe i should i don't know but uh, if you haven't seen us over there on the commonwealth flipper channel you can check us out as we sell this stuff thanks for joining us as always and we can't wait to see you next time